Hmm. So why are they going through this forest? Hey, David Wallman here. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about our story. If you have not seen yesterday's video, go check it out. That's where it starts. We're talking about a story, a musical story that we're building. And really there is purpose in that. We are learning how to build the perfect solo over a simple backing track. Now this backing track, you can download that. I told you about it in yesterday's video, but you can grab that. The link is below, grab the backing track, the charts, and you can watch all the videos of this series. This week, every single day, we're exploring a new aspect of what I call the love formula, L-O-V-E. Today's video number two, L-O-V-E stands for lyrical, which we covered yesterday, obvious, that's today, visual and expandable. Okay, obvious. Things should be obvious. If it's not yet, it will be. So what am I talking about here? Well, let's go back to our backing track here, which is in G minor. And yesterday we built a story on this, on this track. Just a mental story. Two kids walking through the forest, and then at some point there was a bunny, told them his name. I don't know what his name is, but we built some sentences. That is a lyrical aspect. Obvious, what's obvious over that, uh, that sentence? Well. It's the melodic thing. Melody, I believe, music, I believe, is a gift. A gift from outside of us. And we all have a piece of that gift. I, I really believe that. Um, you can be receptive to that. Some are, are more receptive than others. Gifted. A gifted musician is someone who's maybe more receptive to that. And it comes out. Uh, the music, I believe... Um, can be explained sometimes, can be understood with theory, chords, and, and on your instrument, and all those, those mental things that we can relate to that. But music is really outside of that, I think. We can use all those concepts to, to help our understanding of music and help us execute that. But it comes from outside, and that's where the O, L-O-V-E, obvious part comes from, in my, I, I think. So we're gonna really drop the good, we're gonna gently the guitar down. We're not going to drop it. And uh, we're going to start with, uh, we're going to go back to yesterday's lesson, the L, lyrical, with a sentence that needs to uh, fit the tempo. So it is too, I can't remember what I said yesterday. Do you guys remember? But maybe you built your own sentence and that's what you should do. Two kids walking in the, the, through the trees. Okay, it's more like that. Okay, here it is. Walking through the trees, they feel confused. Okay, that's our, our sentence. Da, 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 da. Now, I want you to, it's hard with cameras around, get into this and start singing, start humming, start imagining. What comes out of your mouth might not be perfectly matched to what is inside, and that's okay. That's what you're training and developing your voice can, can help, but we're gonna try that. Um, so we're gonna wait for the turnaround. There's some different chords. We'll see what we can do over that. And we're not starting with a scale. A scale. We don't care that it's in G minor. It is. We're just gonna you know, do something obvious with that. Try to. Okay, here it is. Walking through the trees, they feel confused. That's what came out naturally. Do that again. Walking through the trees, they feel confused. Okay. So we have the number of syllables. Da 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 nine. Walking through the trees, they feel confused. So we're gonna have nine different pitches. Maybe some will be repeated, but that's what we have. Da 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 na 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 na. That's obvious to me. That came out obviously. Let's try another one. Uh, let's try another sentence just to make th things fun. The bunny is here. Hello. Yeah, it's super lame. You don't need to know it's in my head. The bunny is here. He says hello. Okay, we'll do that. The bunny is here. He says hello. Bunny is here. He says hello. Yeah, I like that. Now, without the lyrics, it'll be a little more acceptable. Da 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 like that? Chords change, I know. 
da, 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 da. That is obvious too. A second musical idea that was not generated from my instrument that just came out. And that is very close to what's inside of me. Why? Because I didn't think through scales. I don't even know that I can play this. I, I don't need to know. It's coming out. And, and when it's coming out, that's where you are really in touch with um, that, that gift, the, the music that is outside, inside, that's kind of everywhere. I feel that I'm like Carlos Santana talking. <laughs> if it, you know what I mean? Maybe not, but that's what we have. Now we have our guitar, and the next step is once we have something, I, I kind of like the bunny idea. The bunny is here, he says hello. I'm gonna do that several times. I really need to, to uh, mentally kind of visualize what's going on. Da -da 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 because I'm going to replicate that on my instrument by fishing around. Ba, and fishing around means where you play a note, la, keep it sustained, la. La, da. La, da. Okay, so that can be a little tedious, right? Well, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be because in the love formula, there's also a V. L, lyrical, O, obvious, which we covered today, V is for visual. The visual aspect of the left formula is what allows you to translate the lyrical, obvious thought onto your instrument. It has to do with the visual aspect, which we will cover tomorrow. Uh, again, like these concepts are so basic, so simple, but so, so, so gratifying. They really are. I told you yesterday that 23 years ago, I was in a session in Belgium, in a studio, recording for this artist, and it was time for the solo, and I didn't know what to do, and really, I didn't know it at the time. The engineer said, why don't you just put your guitar down and sing something? That's what the love formula is, and that's what we're covering today. Tomorrow, we're going to take a look at the visual aspect of that formula. Don't miss it because that's going to allow you to uh, walk in the streets, hear something in your mind, remember it or record it on your phone, and then you come to your studio where your guitar is or wherever, or wherever you practice, and you can play it right there, like that. That's because of the visual aspect. Tomorrow, don't miss it. Remember, grab this backing track and the charts. It's completely free. You'll also be able to watch all the videos of this series in a very clean and simple interface. Just sign up once, the link is below, it's free. And you will also get access to many other videos on the channel as well. But we are the love formula. Tomorrow is session number three. We're gonna talk about the visual aspect, super important and very practical. I'll see you tomorrow.